Ой, Well, for now, I believe he has every chance to live. Yes. Nothing much has gone wrong from the test we have conducted so far. Good doctor, this young man must not die. Do whatever it will take and put the whole bill on me. Yes. yes. You understand? Yes. There is no problem, sir. Please I will do my you best. I really need your help. I don't want to be a murderer. Never. Please. Never. So that will not happen. Don't worry, sir. I will do my best, but we need to conduct an S train on him. Yes, to know if there is any damage in the other part of his body, or even cut. Eh? We have to do everything necessary. There is no problem, sir. Just you can come to me. Eh? I'll come to you. Thank you and Oga for making it um, possible for me. Your kindness and your care towards me. <laughs> and for the doctor, he's got sent. Aww. You know, that's very good news because I don't know how I would have felt if I actually killed someone. No, it would have been your fault. Come on, I, but I think it's really ended well. Okay, so. When you are discharged, where do you go from here? Is everything okay? Did I say something wrong? Why are you crying? what happened. You know, when I got to the hospital, I was just about asking him what you wanted to find out. Then, I just asked him a simple question, which is, what do you do or where do you go when you leave the hospital? And then you needed to see the way he cried. Like, he cried. He properly cried like a baby. Hmm. Why? I don't know. He, he he just cried like like someone who is depressed, someone with no hope or future. Um, do you think he 
is that way? Is that what his condition is? Yes, I think so. I I also think we need to help him. So, how do you think we can help? I don't know because that man couldn't say a word. He didn't say anything to me. He just cried all through. Why not invite him over? Let's listen to him. Let's hear him out. Okay. okay, when he comes, I'm sure he will open up somehow. Hmm? Okay. I don't want you. I don't want you. You know, developing any negative thoughts. Okay. Hmm? It's not your fault. Okay. Hmm? Just you. find a way we can help him. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Go up and say some fresh one. Alright. Mm, I'll be here. Okay. Yeah. Doctor, thank you for your care, for your concern, and your attention towards my health. Thank you. You are welcome, my brother. You see, all thanks to go to this lady here for the role she and her husband played to ensure that you are okay. Everything went to work. Mm? Take care. Uh, uh, meanwhile, just like you said, we shall see again if time permits or if nature permits. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. We shall see again. Thank you, my dear. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank so, you, Doctor. We'll see some other time. All right. No problem. Yeah. Thank right. you. Okay. So, shall we? What? To my house. Yes, actually, my husband wants to see me. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. How um, are This is all right. Yes, yes, my bag is at the store room. Yeah. All right, all right thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You need to brace yourself up. You'll be a man. Crying will not solve any problem. Tell us what you want us to hear. Hmm? Come on, just talk to us. Okay, okay I, I, I want to say I'm, I'm deeply sorry for causing you all this. Right from the time of the incident to the hospital and back here, I know how much I've cost you too. It was all my fault. I bet you it was out of frustration that led me to it. But what actually made me cry again was when Madame asked me, where do I go from here? It reminded me of how frustrated I was, how jobless and hopeless I, I was. Where do I go from here? Actually, I had no answer to that. I had no choice but to cry. It's okay. It's okay. Now, can you tell us exactly what your problem is? What's pressing you? I was actually a businessman, doing well in my business. Before the fire outbreak at the Quema Market Road. Good evening. Good morning. So how are you feel? Oh, please sit down. How are you feeling? I'm very well okay now. And your body? Yes, I'm okay now. Okay. Um, remind me your name again. Uh, my name is Nelson. Yeah, Nelson. Yes, ma'am. Nelson, so, my husband and I have decided that you stay here for a while before we're able to get you a place to move into and then start your life afresh. Thank you very much, ma'am. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much, ma'am. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, okay, just follow me so I can show you your room. Okay. 
Welcome, Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. But you need to stop addressing me as ma. My name is Rebecca. Did you get that? Uh, okay, ma. I, I mean, uh, Re, 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 Rebecca. Rebecca. Re, Re, Rebecca. Okay. And one more thing. You're not a servant in this house. So you don't always need to rush to the gate whenever I arrive. There's no gate man here. Britain's best known to Oga. Hmm? And he wouldn't like you addressing me as ma. Oh, okay, ma. I'm so, sorry, Re 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 Rebecca. Rebecca. Uh, sorry, Re Rebecca. I, I just want to appreciate the fact that you've been too kind to me. I, I just want to use this opportunity to tell you that. Look, I don't mind opening this gate for you. I mean, wash your car for you. I, I don't have a problem, mo. I mean, I, it's a privilege. I, I just, I die here. You're really so funny. Comfortable. Hmm? Yes, sir. While you are healing up. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. It's for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. understand you. I saw you washing the car outside and I told you that was not your job. And now here you are cleaning the parlor. Why? I, I'm just trying to help in the house chores. Well, did I ask you to? No, you didn't, but I, I just have to. Listen, Nelson, don't make me repeat myself. I have said this before, this is not your job. If we need this parlor cleaned, we know how to go about it. So please, just get it into your head. This is strange. Well, I, I, I just, I'm just tired of sitting in one place, doing nothing, eating and just resting. It gets me bloated and I am just tired. So you want me to tell Oga that you need to leave? No. Ah. <laughs> no, not at all. Okay. I can't run around that means. I can't be jogging. I can't be running around the house. I can't, I can't be used to that. <laughs> You're so funny. And then all of a sudden, I saw the car, the caterpillar, and the trailer with the gorilla. They just smashed together. <laughs> mm, sounds like a playbook. <laughs> mm, it's not. I'm serious. Really, it happened. And then, um, then I saw the caterpillar's mother came and then it faced it and was like oh, are you talking to me like <laughs> okay okay i won't talk again mm. you tell me a story okay mm. okay 
when the tortoise was born, mm -hmm. he had no father. Yes, because the father died before the tortoise was born. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of my story. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this story was told to me when I was laid to by my grandmother. <laughs> Ever since then, I've been asking her, so what happened to the tortoise's mm -hmm. father? How did she get pregnant to the mother? <laughs> <laughs> he said I should go and ponder. That I should be pondering. <laughs> Today, I'm still pondering. No! <laughs> because if the tortoise was born without a father, mm -hmm. what happened to the father? So, tell me on that one. Um... Which one? Which one? Which one? Okay, yes. Um. Come to think of it, what would a beautiful girl as this be doing with a blind man? There's nothing money cannot buy. You. Sorry, sorry, I think I... I'll take it from here, don't worry. Don't worry. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I guess, I guess you sprained it. How are you feeling now? Huh? I don't know, it's it's just hurting me. No, it's okay, just, just relax. Relax yourself. Just, I just fell and tripped over. Oh. I hope that's not dislocation in any form. I don't know, but, but my ankle feels really, really heavy. Oh. See? You see? Do you have bruises? No, no, I don't. No bruises at all? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God. But you see, I have to go to the hospital tomorrow. You understand, you need to go to the orthopedic and so they, they will find out if, you know, in any form you have, uh, what is it called, internal bleeding. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, in, in a case like this, you, you might fall, there will be no wound, you know, physical wound, but internally, you may be bleeding. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think there's any need for me to go to the hospital. Besides, the pain is bearable for now. There you go. If I allow you, you allow this thing to, to, to get worse. Baby, the only thing that I have, I beg you. Tomorrow, do you know what happened? Tomorrow we'll go to the hospital together. Really, there's no need for that. I can bear the pain. Mm -mm. Don't be any pain. You don't even need to be any pain. I bear, baby. I don't want anything to happen to you. Don't you know if something should happen to you, that's going to happen to me? Eh? Because, mm -mm. I think it's even high time we get a house girl. So you stop doing all this mini job yourself. High time, honestly. You can afford to pay the ones that will be coming and be going on a daily basis. Tired of this. 
What is it? Sincerely speaking, I'm in love with you. I can't hide it anymore. Afraid of what? Of my husband. You know, before before we got married, I took an oath never to betray him, never to cheat, and never to leave him. It was conducted by his sister Jane. But aside that I don't think my conscience would let me live with the fact, considering how he has cared for me and how he has loved me, this same thing should be applicable to you. If there's someone I was to love, it should have been Dan. Dan was a good man. He was always there for me. He actually convinced my husband to marry me. But yet, Yet I didn't let my feelings for him proceed. Rebecca, you won't understand how much I feel for you. A true love is difficult to be controlled. Listen, there's no night that passes by that I don't ponder about you. If it's about the out, that's an old story. It doesn't work anymore. It's using that to tie you down. Sincerely speaking. Hey, take a look at it. You were the one loving and he's the one trying to love you and be nice to you. It's not that. He's a good man. He's a really good man. You see what he does for people. What he does for you, for me. I haven't told you this before, but, but the same way you were brought to this house was the same way I was. I hope she's not there. Papa, please come. Let me just. Where? Let me show you. Let me show you. Where? Papa, come, please come. Doctor. Doctor, how is she fine? She will be fine and will soon regain her total fitness. Good, please. Do whatever it will take to make sure that she returns back to normal, please. You understand? Money is not the issue here, Doc. Whatever it will cost, I am ready. I am ready to foot the bill. Okay? Because I have seen death with this my two closed eyes. Honestly, and I, that should never happen to anybody, not when I can help. Okay? You don't need to worry yourself, sir. She will be very, very okay. Eh? Just calm down. 
But since we have been here, she has not talked. No body movement. Please, doctor, talk to me. Talk to me about your car. When is she gaining herself back? When? Like I said fine. before, you just have to relax. She will be fine. Based on the test I conducted on her, she's okay. Eh? She's just having some rest. You don't need to worry yourself. Okay. That's alright. Just do whatever it takes. Trust me. The money will not be problem. Okay. I will, sir. Ah, lovely. What will I do? Where will I look for her? Who knows whether she's dead? Who knows whether they took her to the mortuary? Hey! She may boom. Papa. Hey! You need to calm down. I believe nothing will happen to Rebecca. <laughs> she will come back. How will you believe that? Eh? But are you sure that that incident happens there? Are you sure of that? I'm very sure, Papa. I'm uh, very, very sure. But I, I, am, I am confused because I don't know if they, they took her to the hospital or they kidnapped her. You are talking about kidnapping again. Huh? When you came here, you talk about accident. Now you are talking about kidnapping. Hey, which one will I take? Oh, Jim, I won't be good. Just come down. Who will assist me again? My niece, Rebecca. It's okay. Rebecca. 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 Is going Rebecca. To be back. Oh, my God. Oh. Where will I look for her? Where will I run to? Huh? Whom will I complain to? She refused to drop her tray of oranges outside. Rebecca. Rebecca. Good afternoon. Where? Good afternoon. Where are you seeing the carrying orange? They are already spoiled. No, sir, they are not. Oh, I still on. need to sell them so that I can make money to feed myself and my family. Okay, okay, okay. How much, how much are the oranges? How much is it? All of them. Huh? Um, it's 1,700. 1,700? You know what, Rebecca? I'm going to give you um, 20,000 Naira in exchange for the oranges. Is that okay? Well, Thank you, sir. Please. Now, now you can drop them, okay? They're spoiled already. Okay. Drop them and make yourself off them. Thank you, sir. Yeah? Thank Please. Ah. Uh, Emeka. Uh, sir. Uh, uh, you can take the oranges and throw them away. They're already spoiled. Please. Okay, you can do it now. Huh? Rebecca. Like I said, I'm going to. I'm going to replace the one. Huh? Yeah. No, I'm going to replace the one. Okay? Huh? Please, just make yourself comfortable. Huh? I'll be back. I'll be right back. Take your bath so they can you can relax when you get up soon. I'll see you later. Thank you, sir. Let's go. 
I will talk to you later. Let's go. Let's go. So, my dear, you said your name is Rebecca. Yes, sir. Oh. So, Rebecca, tell me about yourself. And also, tell me about this your uncle that you talked about. Um, sir, my uncle is my father's younger brother. He has no children and he has refused to remarry since the death of his wife. I was left under his care after my parents died as well. And since then, he, it has not been easy, sir. He has been struggling to take care of me. And he trained me in school, at least up to my primary education. Mm. My uncle lives a strange life. A lot of people don't communicate with him. No one actually does communicate with him in our community or even go close to him. So that's why I decided to start hawking just to provide food for us. Sad. Well, death. Death will never stop hurting good people. Anyway, let's leave that first. Uh, uh, Rebecca, can you... You said your uncle lives a strange life. Can you explain? Can you explain that? Um, my uncle just loves to stay alone. He lives an isolated life. So, for that reason, people don't go close to him because of his way of life. Okay. You sound, you know, extremely intelligent. Did you... Have you gotten up to university level in your education? Or are you done with the education already? No, sir. It's just by the grace of God. I did my basic education and I was actually the best in my class. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> That's good. So, um, this your uncle, where is he now? He's in the village, sir. In the village? How come we find you in the city? Um, because um, we are from here. So I just take 150 naira to board a bus to the city. And then after hawking, I take the same amount back to the village. I come here to hawk because in this place, I make more sales. I understand. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, well, it's okay. You know what? I think I need to meet with your uncle. Yes. So tomorrow, get ready. You take me to your village so I can see your uncle before I can, you know, commit any further. Oh. Okay, sir. I hope you give it up. Yes, 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 sir. Thank you very much, sir. It's okay, it's okay. That will be all for now. You can go back to your room and continue what you're doing. Thank you, sir. And of course, tell Dan, Dan, tell Dan to see me immediately. Yes, sir. today I'm much better now ma I can see that my brother here has told me everything and I thank God for saving you from the hands of the devil it shows that untimely death is not your portion amen never I also thank God for using him to preserve my life after the accident that is my big God for you. And I'm so sorry for not visiting you while we are at the hospital. But I never hesitated praying for you. For things to turn around. And it happened. 
Thank you, ma. No. Secondly, my brother here told me you'll be going back, but he has intentions of bringing you back to stay with him here. Mm. But that will be after he must have spoken to your uncle. Mm -mm, no, like he's taking me back, but he didn't tell. Sir, mm -hmm. you didn't tell me that you'll be bringing me back. Yes, because I have the intention of breaking the news before your uncle and before you at the same time. Yes. That's why I didn't tell you, but now you know. Huh? Don't you like to stay here with us? But, please say yes. This is, this is strange. I mean, how, how, how am I supposed to live here? Besides, who will take care of my uncle in the village? That one. Rebecca, that one will not be a problem. At all. Mm -hmm. too much. We will take care of your uncle. The most important thing is that you're going to be here and you'll be happy. Yes. That's all we want. As for your uncle, we'll take care of him, okay? Who do you want to stay here? What do you want? Please. Hmm? Please don't say no. Please. Okay? It's alright. Let's, let's continue with our meal. It's your food. Yeah? Uncle, that was how it all happened. I know you must have been very worried. I was deeply worried. <laughs> the disappearance arose my blood pressure to the highest level. I'm serious. And um, at the same time, I won't forget to appreciate the young man's kindness. The way he handled the situation, I really won't appreciate it. Please, have your handshake. Okay. No. It's all right. It's all right. And uh, you, my daughter. That is. I thank you for your generosity. You are welcome back. Thank you. Welcome. So tell me, Uncle, how have you been coping? It's not been all that easy. In fact, to tell you the truth. I am very, very happy to have you back and alive. You understand me? Look, let me tell you something. Um, it is not hunger or another thing. But one thing is that just to set my eyes on you was my greatest problem. <laughs> and the today, eh? now I'm seeing you here, I am very, very, very happy. <laughs> I am equally glad that um, you, know, you accepted us in one piece because we thought that because she has stayed some few days, we might not be welcome when we get here. Well, all thanks goes to God though. While I was coming here, I had two reasons in mind. One was to bring her back here in peace. And the other one is a proposal. I am... Um, proposing that you should allow her to stay with us in the city instead of staying here in the village. It's just a humble request, please. we will be glad if you accept that. <laughs> to stay with you people in the city? Just like that. Anyway, we have our own way of doing things. Even though she has been with two people, um, in the city for a few days. It's not a criteria that she will uh, go with two people. So what I'm saying in essence is that this little girl you see here is just like the apple of my eyes. Taking her away from me is just like taking one of my eyes away. Do you understand me? That's just the problem. Oh, sir, we understand you very well as we have heard and seen. But you must not keep viewing it that way. If there is anything you want us to do, 
He's capable of. <laughs> Listen to me, my brother. Look, you have done what you can do for me. For bringing her home. I'm very, very happy. You understand me? So, I don't understand any other thing you're talking about. It's okay. And please do not be offended. <clears throat> you know, with my request. It's just a humble request. And it's not something you must do now. You can take your time, think about it, and if it is possible, you communicate us. Um, anyway, I will sleep over it. Just use this to, you know, substitute whatever it is. Yeah. Just manage it. Jesus Christ. All this for me? Yes. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, no, 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 please. It's not. This is too much. No. no. I mean, considering what you have been doing for my daughter, it is too much, please. No, no, no. This is even a book. There's still more to come. My utmost wish is that you may be able to, you know, when you consider. And allow her to stay in the city with us. As for you, we will take care of you, sir. We will. Yeah? Um, Rebecca. I don't know what is to say. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You don't need to worry. Rebecca. Yes. All right, sir. Please. We'll, we'll, we'll be expecting your message. It's all right, please. Safe journey. Thank you. Safe journey, please. Rebecca. See you. I'll be expecting you. Hey! Ah. You mean he is blind? Yes, Uncle. According to what his driver said, he said he got blind the day Amrobas robbed his house. Hey. And they also killed his only daughter and his wife. Hey! I'm so sorry for him. I feel sorry for him too. Um, but how has he been coping? Has he gotten married again? No. He just lives with Dan, his driver, and his sister sometimes just visits him. May God be his strength. I agree so. Um, let me ask you this question. What do you think about this wish of you going with them to live in the city? Okay. To tell you the truth, I'm confused. I'm really confused because how will I just leave you like that when I'm not sure of your safety, your feeding? Like, I can't just leave you like that, Uncle. My dear, listen to me. You shouldn't be having me in mind in your consideration in a thing of this nature. Knowing fully well that one day you will get married. Huh? Until then, Uncle. Mm -hmm. Of course I know. But it is my wish that one day you will live in your own home as a woman. Mm -hmm. I also wish the same, but let's just wait until then. No problem. 
I believe God that just but one day. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, please. Mm. This ah. one that you're here, I hope all is well. All is well. Oh, I'm okay. Oh. That's not uncle. Oh, my uncle. Let me just no, come. No, no, no. I'm here to see you only. Me? Yeah. Why? I hope I'm safe. You are very safe. Actually, I came to see you. You know, to talk to you as my, as a sister and a friend. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell me what are your intentions or what do you say concerning the request of Mr. Pius? Dan, you know, I'm still confused though. I don't know what to say. Um, you know, the, the truth is, I just can't leave my uncle. That's the problem. I see. You see? I came here outside his consent. I have come to talk to you as a sister, I mean as a blood sister. I, I wish you can just understand. Mr. Pius is a very nice man. And a philanthropist. Irrespective of the fact that he became scared of human after the murder of his daughter and wife. You know, but that couldn't make him to stop helping the less privileged. Oh, blessed is he or she who he has interest in. See, the greatest wish you can ever, ever think of will come to, will come to pass if you ever think of coming over. Okay. Let me reveal a secret to you. He has put a plan to build a house for your uncle. Even when you don't accept him. Say, Rebecca, please. Mr. Pius is a very good man, like I said. Just come, let's leave. And pray to God for better tomorrow. Well, what's your interest in all this? My interest? Mm -hmm. Actually, my interest is that I want to see you live well. I want you to have a good life. And again, the little time I have stayed with you, I, I have caught fond of you. <laughs> now tell me, what do you say? It is true. Yes, Rebecca, it is true. Everything Dan told you concerning my family and their tragedy is true. 
Because everything happened before him. Everything happened in this house. You know, amongst the people that used to stay with me before this, my present condition, amongst them is only Daniel that is still staying in the house with me today. And that is because when this condition befell me and I became blind, my whole life changed. I started living you know, an isolated life. I find it difficult you know, to stay long with people. I don't know. I feel very bad knowing fully aware that I'm blind and then people all around me telling me sorry here and there. I really don't know what to say, but this is really sad. I'm sorry you had to go through all this. And I know that God, God would definitely see you through this, sir. Yeah. I have faith. I know one day I will see you again. Yes, sir. I have faith. Rebecca, I have a request. Yes, what is it, sir? Mm. You know, <clears throat> Rebecca, this is a very, it's a very strong one and in case you may find it, you know, unpleasant, I really would want you to, not to feel bad, just that I've been thinking about it very deeply. Rebecca, I want to marry you. Don't say no. Forget about my conditions. I know I'll be okay. Whatever it is that will keep you happy, I'm equal to the tax. I will make it happen. Please tell me. Will you marry me? Please. Trust me, I will make you happy. I'm not surprised. I'm I'm just confused. Why are you confused? Because I don't know what to do. I don't even know where to start from. I, I don't know what to do. Okay, you see, before he told you about that, he has equally told me about that. And I'm the one that initiated the idea to him. You're the good woman he deserves. And I want you to respond positively. Please, don't fear him. Oh, why me? Like, why me? You will understand that. You know, Rebecca, you know, I must tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Because truly, you have restored the faith that I have in life. The major faith that I have for life is what you have fulfilled back. And you have also restored my happiness. 
Every car you have restored, a total perfection of my ex-wife. And even more. And you have filled the vacuum of my lost parents. And I'm happy to have met you as well. I promise you, to the day that I die, there's nothing a man can do for a woman that I will not do for you. It doesn't matter. It is just you and I. So long as you really love me, watch me play it. No, but I'm here. Never mind. Watch me do it. I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm just tired. Mm. I don't know. You must have been working all day, isn't it? Yes. I know. You need to take it easy. Honestly. Now let me let you sleep now. Huh? Okay. Sweet dreams. Oh. Yes. I'll talk to you later. He said that he was the first to deflower you. Mm -hmm. And now you are the second person I'm having anything to do with in my life. Really? That's serious. What about Dan, the driver? You said something about him. Yes, he told me. No, it didn't have anything to do with Dan. We we're just mutual friends. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. You know, why I'm seeing all this is. I really, really, really love you. Cecilia's people, and it looks like the whole world is made for you. Everything is going for you smoothly. In fact, I just can't do without you. Hmm? And I love you too. Mm. Love, love, love. Anya. <laughs> Anya. <laughs> right. You know, my husband has decided to furnish your apartment. Pay for it as soon as you see one. And also, he'll give you 10 million naira for your business startup. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. Look, I am super excited. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I, uh, thank you. I, I don't even know how to thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much once again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but. But, but what? See, I, I, I would love to have that one million to myself in cash. Getting an apartment and furnishing it is going to cost me over a million. Mm -hmm. But if I add it to the ten million, 
I can complete my project in the village. At least add more shops, you know, rent others and take one for my business. And that can yield me more money. So you don't want to do your business anymore? I said, I, 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 it's not as if I don't want to do my business. I want to finish up my project in the village. Besides, I don't want to miss you. You are the focal point here. I don't want to lose you. I want to keep seeing you, you know, looking at you at all times. You're the only one that gives me joy, sincerely speaking. Okay. Okay, let's say you don't do your business. But then, where will you live? Since our guy is blind, mm -hmm. I don't mind to stay here. And yeah. since, yeah. And, and thank God his sister is traveling and staying out there for two years. Don't worry, I know how to play the game. I'll, I can stay. How is that even possible? Like, how do you think you'll be living in this house and he wouldn't know, even if he's blind? Leave that to me. I know how to do that. See, the most important thing is you. Look, I don't want to lose you. I want to always see you. I, I, I want to be smiling. I, I want to be happy at all times. You are the focal person. Please don't make me lose you, please. I don't want to miss you, please. You've done so much for me and I'm ready to do anything you want me to do. But as long as I stay here, just for you, please. Well, is that what you really want? Absolutely. Yes, because we called you here to generally fulfill all the promises that we made to you, my wife and I. Hmm? Yes. We must acknowledge the fact that we enjoyed your stay here with us. Yes, we enjoyed you so much. <laughs> it almost feels as you shouldn't leave. Yeah? But you know. You have to move on as a man. Okay? Yes, sir. A man cannot continue to stay with another man. It is said that when a man grows up, he will leave and go and make his own family. That's what makes a man. Hmm? Yes, so, you're going to move into your own apartment and become the man that you're supposed to be. My wife um, has found a place for you. She, hmm? And of course, like we promised, we are going to settle the place and make sure that we begin to stay there in peace. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate, I appreciate this, sir. Thank you very much, sir. So, honey. Yes, baby. You said you found a place, isn't it? Yes, I did. So, um, Nelson. Sir. My wife and I have decided to give you the sum of 25 million. Yes. Thank you. My wife here will transfer the money to you. I hope your account is still intact. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I am just perplexed. I thank you. Thank you for all this. Thank you. So, Five million naira out of the twenty-five million naira will be used for your the renting of your apartment and furnishing it. And the balance of twenty million naira, you use that one to start up any kind of business that you know that you desire, anywhere you know you're qualified to make life. You can start with the twenty million. Okay. You know, we, I, between me and my wife, we truly appreciate your stay and everything that you've done for us. Okay? So we wish you well and 
we wish that as soon as you get into your house, you settle down like a normal man, get the wife and everything. Sure, mm -hmm. sure, sir. Thank you. That's Thank you, sir. And of course, for me and my wife, we bless you. Amen. Together, we wish you well. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Anything that you start doing, you must prosper in God's name. Amen. 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 So that's it. Okay. Uh, I can go and get my things ready. Go and get your things. Uh, sweetie here will drive us. I think I have to accompany you this time. Let me get the feel of the new place. Sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. Let, you go and pack. Go and pack. Go and pack your things. Sweetie, you drive us to the place. Let us go and see where Nelson would be. You know? Lay in his head. Until you become what you're supposed oh, to be. Okay. I much appreciate sir. Thank you very much sir. Thank you. I hope he's happy. Yes, yes, yes. He's very happy to see him dancing. <laughs> no, you know, he has been here. I think it's hard time he moves into his yes, apartment. Yes. You know, I'll become a man. Mm -hmm. Probably, maybe, you know, he will try to get a wife for himself. <laughs> you know? You know, he's, grown, he's a good man. <laughs> you should advise him to get married. <laughs> so, so on YouTube, get ready so you can travel to your Yeah, yeah, home. I'm ready. I can just go like this. I have my shoes here. So. Look, what's that nice if you stand back in the mood? Yeah. See, I am so much happy for all you have done to having me back in here. You're welcome. You know, as it stands now, there's nothing I can't do for you. I've witnessed it already. I think I'll always be there for you. Me too. See, Rebecca, I love you so deeply. And I love you too. You know, my husband is beginning to suspect. We need to be very careful. Hmm. I think it's better you serve that man a divorce notice. Divorce? Yes. Lay an allegation against him. And we, we start a new life as couples. Why do you suggest that? See, it depends on how you feel about me currently. Okay? Look, Rebecca, we are meant for each other. Can't you see it? Or are you happy to be a wife of a totally blind man? Look, you know, marriage isn't something that you can just walk out from. I've come a long way with my husband. Besides, my uncle wouldn't give his consent to any other man that I bring. This is quite simple. It's a matter of time. With time, your uncle will follow the dancing step. So listen. You just have to brace up yourself. Think about us. And let's move. Find one of the properties and let's sell. And start a new life as a big, I mean, in a big way. You know, I don't even have any of his properties under my care. It's either with his lawyers or with his brothers. Except for one, the 50 acres of land he recently bought. 50 acres of land? Mm -hmm. Right? Fine! All you need to do is we have it, sell it, and we start a new life. I mean, are you happy to be a wife of a blind man? Look, I have the capacity to take care of you as the man.
peace with God. So I found the toad. Now? Yes, honey, please now. Very important. <sighs> Okay, what is it? Oh, please. Tell me the truth. You still love me. Why are you asking me that? You don't know about that cookie. I'm saying my... As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. during that period, Yellow has continued to win. We won the first term, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and we also won the second term. Mm -hmm. the, the, you know, the, the third term was funny. You know, our principal sometimes I wonder. I think he he, he from the back and offer him some bread. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, look, it, it was see, the guy's head was on, on, already ahead, and yet he he said it was a draw. It wasn't a draw. Mm -hmm. It was a complete win. So tell me, now that you're representing Greenhouse, I hope you guys are winning. Um, I'm going to win for sure. Sure, I am going to win. Did you guys win the last tenning? No, we didn't. We scored in second position, but this year is a must. Hard work. Mm hmm Hard work. Are you winning? I want to dress and go out. Do you have any problem with that? Look, look Linda, I don't have a problem with wherever you want to go. Go, I don't care. But you cannot go out like this. You are naked. Can't you see? Is she not naked? Mm, you are naked. Chidima, please. Stay away from us. Please. Mm. I am running out of time. I have to go now. Please. Hey, 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 hey. hey. If you must go out, show this. I don't, like I said, I don't care. Go anywhere you want to go, Linda. Go to, go anywhere. But we cannot go out like this. How can, why can't you, why can't you just allow me look so beautifully sexy and go out? You are, are you this jealous? Go and change. Every time you like fights, you like fights! You want us to start fighting again? Can't you see your name? I don't have your name! I'm not going to fight you two this time around. Can't change. I disappoint you this time around. The craziest part of the whole thing was when she started going outside dressed half naked. It became a numb. I tried to stop her. It was like cat and dog. Every day she would dress in such a way that one could even see her pants. Yet I felt because the more I tried to stop her, the more she was going to make me hit her one day, which I never wanted. The height of it all was the day she got angry and mixed hot water and pepper. Just because I told her that she should stop smoking and she poured it on me. What is it? 
for me. Jesus. Morris! What is your problem? What happened? What happened to you? I don't know when your mom pulled. Why is water all over your body? Oh my god, can you open your eyes? Mom pulled water on you? Paper water? Oh my god. Can you see me? I can go, see go, 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 go. No, get water, get water. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. let's go to the bathroom. Jesus. Sorry, so sorry. How can mom be this inhuman? Jesus. Sorry, this way. Brother Pius, your wife smokes? Sister, this is what we see every day in this house. Is he only smoke? Didn't you see the drink she was holding? <laughs> A bottle of dry gin. See the way she behaves as if she has not seen me before. Not even a hello. Mm. So this is what you go through in this house? This is what we see every day. <laughs> So, how are you people even comfortable with her smoking around? I'm sure she smokes before the little girl. Oh yeah, she does. Not only that. Sometimes she goes as far as trying to hit my daughter. I'm sure she hits her. <laughs> no. No. This cannot go on in my brother's house. I have to go in there and talk some sense into her. Right now. How dare you treat a home that the Lord entrusted in your hands this way? What is the problem? Lida, you not only keep late night, but you smoke and drink excessively. I want to know, tell me. Because this is your recent attitude. What legacy do you think you are leaving for your little girl? What is the problem? See, let me tell you. No woman. Linda, I repeat, no woman builds a beautiful home with this attitude of yours. Can't you see? Can't you see that my brother still loves you? Linda! You walked out on me? Holy Mary. This is serious. This is serious. <laughs> My brother is in for something. My sister Jane tried her best to talk to her as well. From time to time she comes to the house, takes her to her room, tried to talk some sense into her. Very quality she failed. It got worse. It was at that very point that my sister agreed with me that I had picked the wrong wife. Mom. I just pray you won't snub me this time. Or ignore me like you always do. <laughs> Chidima, I think I am in a good mood today. You can go ahead and say whatever thing you want to say. Please don't be convinced on what I'm about to say. And please, don't walk out on me. Cross my heart, I won't. Promise? Mm -hmm. It's all about your behavior towards my dad. I know in your sight, I'm still a kid. 
and I'm here to finish my secondary school education. But the same education taught me a lot of things. From my little experience and observation. So I want to ask you, Mom. Why this behavior towards my dad? What did my dad do to you? Why are you doing this to him? Chi baby. Mom, come close. I have always reserved to tell you this when you grow into a full woman. But since you insist, I will tell you. Okay, why not? Tell me. Tell me now. When you grow up to know what relationship is all about, be it friendship relationship or marital relationship, I pray you don't fall into the hands of a man you don't love. Because it changes a woman from whom she used to be. How? I mean, what do you mean I don't understand? Chidima, the truth remains that I am not in love with your father. I entered into this marriage out of frustration. My father practically chased away the man I truly loved because he was poor. He forced me into marrying your father just because of his wealth. Just look at it. Even with all his wealth, I can still be able to love him. I don't even feel anything for him. It all happened this way. I promise to always be there for you. Uh -huh. I promise to love you always. Uh -huh. It is only death that can separate us. I always will be there for you. Make you happy. Spend the rest of my life with you. Mm. And nothing can separate us. Thank you for coming into my life. I also thank my Chi for bringing you into my life. You're my very best. And I always feel at home with you. Mm. You're indeed a God sent. I love you. And I love you more. Why? Never marry him. Why would you not marry him? I don't love him. I don't love him. He's a stranger to me and I will never marry him. Ah, okay. Now, get ready to marry him over your dead body because I will kill you first before you will deny me what is coming to me. Papa, it's better you kill me by yourself. Yes, because now sin is the reason why I am living. Look at you. Look at you. You are not ashamed of yourself. Beautiful girl like you. Look at what you are saying. You are not ashamed of yourself. Bios is what other ladies like you are praying for. Wise girls are trying to. Crying, yearning, begging God. Going for night vigil every now and then. For God to give them wealthy and wealthy man. To better for their families and themselves. And you are here. Telling me, Nelson, this is that. Nelson loves you. He loves Nelson. He gives you life. He is he God? Is he God? Now, let me tell you. The earlier you start considering what I told you about Pius and his intentions over you, the better for you. That, you hear me? Papa, there is nothing to consider here. My mind is made up. It is Nelson that I love and no other person. Now, listen. Let me tell you. Papa, listen this time around. I am telling you now it that is this God. house. We will not contain both of us. It is your turn to listen. I've been begging hey! for crying and you don't want to hey! listen to me. If after all my suffering on you, yes. you are telling me this. 
that all my investment will go for nothing. Without him, I wouldn't have still been alive. I would have been, I would have long died and long buried. Now, listen, this house will not contain two of us. Papa, I disagree with you. Ah, I disagree with you. You disagree with yes. me? Yes. It's okay. the love of my life, and that's fine now. I've made up my mind. Bofu, if you're tired on the way back, wait for me. What are you? Bofu, you're going back. Look at you. Bofu, 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 kill me. Let's do that. Let's do that. Me, imagine how much suffering I've suffered in my life. You don't want me to benefit. I've suffered to bring you up like this. Or this. Ah! Imagine! Don't try me before I kill you. To be girl. It, it love, love, love will require that. Let's, let's give you part of his life. Mba, you can call your name. Why is your father behaving like this? Eh? What does he think I don't have a future? Why does he want to push you to someone that, 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 that you don't love? Why, why is life like this? My love. Just calm down, I understand how you feel. It is you that I love. No amount of intimidation will make me marry another person. Please, understand me. I promise you. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, I am sure. You'll be with me. I will always be here for you. I will, I will never change my mind. It is you that I love. What if he pushes you to someone that is rich? Since I'm not rich yet. My love, I am matured enough to know what I want, who I want, and who I want to marry. You're the one I want to marry, not him. I will never betray our love. I promise you. Please understand me. Please. Remember, he's still your father. I know. I know he's my father. But I still have my choice here. You're my choice. You're the only one I want and you're the only one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Not him. I don't even love him. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry again, okay? I know. Calm down. I'm here for you, okay? Please consider Nelson. If not for him, I would have been a dead person by now. He gave half of his life for me to leave. Father, please stop treating him as if he's a nobody. Stop treating him as if he has no future. He's the one I want to marry. He's the one I truly love. Father, please. Nobody knows tomorrow. He might become very rich tomorrow and he will never let us down because he has already shown his love for us. Because you know, consider him. My daughter, listen. Listen. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Eh? Look at what you are saying. Nothing did that. He sacrificed. He sacrificed. He, he, he promised. You, did, you, you are talking about your promise. Is it what we are talking about now? But yeah, that was in the past. Yes, he gave you his life. Mm. He made sacrifices for us. Eh, it's true. My dear, but that was in the past. We are talking about now. We are talking about the future. Look at, look at me. You know how I suffered to raise you up like this. Now that God wants to pay me, you are talking about sacrifice. 
Nelson, love, this, that. Ah, no, please. You are a beautiful girl. Oh. Nobody uses sufferness to boast. Nobody is praying to suffer. Eh? You are no job. I'm no job. Ah. My daughter, please. I want you to consider pious too. Your beauty is now what God wants to use to favor me and bring me out of this suffering. Bring us out of this suffering. We have suffered an awful. Eh? Consider pious so that this will be better for you and me. Not because you are not. Not because you are not. Because. <laughs> Hey, Adam, <laughs> consider by your soul, consider by your soul, because Adam, so that our life will be better, eh? because, no, because uh, Adam, no. because you no. eh? because you are not, by your soul, because Adam, by your soul, by your soul, eh? no, let me stop no. suffering, I'll suffer the no, Adam, because you are not, by your soul. I know you're here to see my father. Now, you are wrong. I came here to see you. Huh? I came here not just to see you, but to take you out. Take you out and then make you happy. Not just to make you happy, prove to you the kind of man that you know you need in your life. What are you gonna do? I already have someone I want to marry. He is the only one I will marry because I'm in love with him. Baby, you have some more story. You used to call this kind of story flashback. Eh? That was in the schools, you know. But now we begin to. I want to, I want to take you as a wife. I want to marry you. See, maybe you think I'm joking. I want to bring you into my life, you know, clear your way and then generally re-establish you and make you to appear as the qualitative woman that you're supposed to be in life. I believe you missed your way. Because if you know where you were going before, you shouldn't be here. I didn't miss my way. I intentionally parked the car out there. You know why I did that? I had to make sure that you're not around the neighborhood so I don't miss you. So I walked through that place around the neighborhood. I couldn't find you. Then I knew you were going to be here. Why can't you ever tell my name? Now? So I didn't miss my way. And I came here to prove to you that Anyways, I don't want your money. I don't want anything to do with you. Yeah. All I want is true love and not your fake love. This boy you talk about, you know what? I know what to do. Okay? True love. Let me show you true love. True love is action and doings, not just a new baby. Give me your account number. What bank do you bank with? Say. You should be doing that with my father. Not with me. Your money cannot buy my love. Baby, I'm not trying to buy your love. I'm trying to prove to you the kind of, you know, the kind of balancing I'm going to give your life when we become one. Just give me the account. Which bank is that? I'm not interested. Let me put in 10 million into this. 10 meter. I am not interested. Baby, can you buy 10 meter? You can go and give it to my father. When you give it to him, you take him as your bride. I am not interested. Udo, I know what to do. Meanwhile, um, I will have to say it again. No matter how much you give to my father, it will never buy my love. My love cannot be bought with money. That guy out there that give me life, 
That's the guy I will marry. Excuse me. Um, for your information, when you're leaving, make sure you lock the gate. Thank you. But you know, you know, you know one thing, eh? I like, I like your kind of girl. No, no, no. You're the type. I'm like, you have to get, you know. Don't worry. Your father will tell you what I'll do. Oh, he got like you, right, man. Masio Kungu, Masio. You need to talk to your daughter. Need a word your daughter talk to her. Must make her to understand what we're actually advising her. Make her to understand the consequences of being my wife, what is going to give her in the future. Don't you understand? Clear her doubt. So she would understand that being my wife is having a great future. You're the father. If, you, if you're not able to convince her, who else will? Don't give one. Of course, you can't handle you. Bring you a chair. Go on here. No, do go belly in there. Go on here, you know, man. Because this, this, this love, when I met with this boy, you know, you know, the girls of nowadays, they get dead, they get lost with promises, and you know that this boy will not lead her to anywhere. Go on here, go on here, go on here. Mm. She needs to understand her. Where's my son? Mm. Don't, worry. Don't worry. Hmm? Trust me. Am I no longer her father? No, I, huh? I will talk to her. And I will still talk to her. I will still talk to her. Huh? Yeah, she's, she's starting to be too. Little by little. But you might not. Uh, a, she's a fine girl, very beautiful girl. Oh no, no, go to what the job. I put go. Okay, man, the guy. Okay, man, Akara. Eh, she must uh, do guys more. Eh? Show, show some styles. I eh? know. But I'm telling you, I promise you, please, she will agree. Please, very soon, I will call you on the phone to say that she has said yes. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. What's your call? Oh no, me go the guy. But men, you know, mm. yeah. area, okay, not let you know. Bro, bro, what, <laughs> call you know, the good guy. Yeah. Call you know, the good guy. You understand? understand? <laughs> you know, because if you don't clear her doubt now, Mazukonko, you regret it though. I'm telling you. Anyway, let's go straight to the point. I know what to do. I have your account. Yes, yes. So all I need to do is the needful. Did you receive the money I sent? Yes, yes, time. yes, I did. I'm only just a token. Hey! No, wait, let me. I need a quick one, I need a quick one, I need a I have a account, I know what to do. Just hold on, hold on. All I have to do is copy and paste. Mm -hmm. Copy. Mm -hmm. Paste. I'm. Um, and then, let me push in some things here and I'll shock you. Mm -hmm. Four. Mm-hmm. 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 Bagam. Four million. And Kunyele go four million. Hmm? Hey! You will give her two million. And then you will keep two million. Do you understand? Ogago. Nee. Ogago. You get what they a lot. Hey! No, come on, no, no. I don't cook him. You don't cook him. This is just the beginning now. This is hey! the beginning. As a matter of fact, no, 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 no. Oh, but if I did, oh, but if I did, hey, hey, I'm more than money, man. What's your congo? Can you say the coco? Eh, you said your your brother owns this house. Eh, eh. See, talk to your brother. Anyone plans? If your daughter agrees to marry me today. I tell you categorically that in four months' time, I'll be holding my traditional marriage. Yeah. And before I do that, before I do that, I want to level here and put a duplex. Is that is a sponge duplex? Oh yeah, I will start. The people that will come for my marriage will know that I'm married to Anodobu. So tell your brother that I want to buy here from him. 
so that I can level everywhere. Tell him that I'm going to give him. Um, tell him you 15 million. I will give him 15 million naira for this house. Let him go somewhere else and you would. Uh, Bema. I'm going to level everywhere. This house. The moment your daughter says yes to me, I'm going to go Pius. Linda. What's your yes? I want a choice. Hey! I want a choice. Kowalia. Oh, Bema. Do for this. Bola, bola, bola. Hey! Oh, wow. Hey! What's your problem? How about you, Fadi? How about Hey! Hey! Oh, hey! 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 You must agree to this one. My house, I don't see Gogi. Father. My daughter. I, I am now very confused. I don't even know what to say again. My daughter. Don't be confused. Think. You have to think. Eh? See. You are no longer getting any younger. You are no longer getting any younger. And now that you are still fresh, oh no, no, go. Don't want to And somebody like Pius is coming for you. Let us not make a mistake. Because very soon, you will not be sharp again. Your mama has to go to the mama. My father, you know, I have someone in my life. There's someone that wants to marry me. Hi. So, what's wrong? Ah, listen, I ah, like goods in the market. If somebody doesn't have the money to buy the goods, and he who has the money pays for the goods first and take the goods home. Hmm? Now that you are still young like this, now that you are still fresh and beautiful, you know you are like a rose flower that blossoms in the morning and withers in the evening. Now that Pius is serious, imagine how he's giving us money. You are not yet his wife, oh, and he's giving us money like this. Imagine how you look like when you become his wife. Eh? Don't forget that we have suffered. We have suffered so much. I especially have suffered. We have nothing. And you promised me that you will make me happy. Now is your opportunity to make your father happy and proud. Don't fail me. Linda, mom, don't fail me. Father, what will I now tell Nelson? What Anything! Will I tell him? Anything! A lot of things to tell him. A whole lot. If you don't know what to tell him, meet me. I will tell you what to tell him. I got you fire. We can't be looking for what to tell him now. Hey. Wow. Ah, now that God wants to elevate me. Madam, why are you crying? What happened? Huh? Father, I've accepted to marry Pius. You say? What did you say? I've accepted to marry Pius. You will 
and start enjoying the fruit of your labor. <laughs> hey! That's a good one. I'm sure more is coming. Hey! Mm, 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 mm. Hey! Ah! Okay, I can't add them <laughs> Greetings. Now you come. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, now you come. You really enjoy yourself. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Ah! This one you're enjoying like this. Ah. You see, eh? The truth of the matter remains that I am going to contribute in this enjoyment someday. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am so happy that you are happy. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Hey, Master Koko, I came to see you concerning Linda, my love. Which, uh, which Linda? Which of the Linda? Uh, uh, my, uh, Linda, your daughter, my fiancée. I actually came so that um, I can discuss with you one on one, eh? so that I can collect the marriage list and be paying it one at a time, just little by little. At least that is wisdom. Eh? <laughs> what <do you> think? <laughs> wisdom, eh. yes, eh. <laughs> wisdom, wisdom. Eh. Eh. And um, I will give you my daughter. Yes, yes. You know, it's very important. So yes! That, um, so that um, we, we, uh, uh, Chuanu, Uoji, uh, uh, Chinage. My in law, my in law. Uh, I don't want anything that belongs to me to turn to someone. Nelson, Nelson! Wisdom. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, little by little. Exactly. Hey. Hey. Things will be. Will be my right in law, there. my in law. What are you working? Hey, Give me one. It is hey. me. Hey. 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 This is my beautiful angel. You don't mess your joy, you know? Hey. 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 You are very, you are very correct. <laughs> don't worry. Hey. Hey. Just sit down. Hey. Let me get you a glass hey. to enjoy with me. <laughs> I should enjoy with you. You are my in law. Don't worry, I'm coming. Hey. 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 Okay, let me sit down. Sit down. Hey. <laughs> Don't worry, I appreciate you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you very much for believing my future. Uh, uh, no, What are you doing? Will you? Out of my house! Look at you! Look at you! Oh! I should give you my beautiful daughter! You know, cousin, small by small, little by little, wisdom. My friend, get out of this house! And let me not see you in this compound desert! Any day I see this, you are poverty sucking lens into this compound! Ow! You can, you can go. Uh, okay. Just this wait. is my church clothing. Wait! Mas, this is my church Wedding clothes. clothes. Wedding clothes, I'm coming. Wedding clothes. Okay. Hey, Go, oh. no, come and stay. We will prepare you little by little. This is my beautiful that I will give you. You say, an hour. You will not be paying me little by little. You. Don't worry. Please come here next time. Hey! Why else we go more social media? Somebody will suffer for, 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 for nothing. Somebody will tell him you 
pay little by little. Little by little, we quarrel about. Please forgive me. I'm sorry for the pain that caused you. But we promise never to leave each other. Why doing this? I have no explanation for this. I, I am sorry. It is conditioned that is making me marry him. You and I know that I love you so much. I don't even love or feel anything for this man I'm, I'm getting married to. Please forgive me. That was it all. Mom! Mm. The situation is a very shocking one. As we heard them so vivid and clear. But... I didn't sense that from her when she was newly married. Maybe she was pretending to be a good woman then. It is unimaginable. To think of the fact that Linda has no love for me. She never loved me. Her heart actually belongs to someone else. Hey! I'm doomed. You know, eh, the fact is that I can't even s stop loving her. She and my daughter, they are the only family I have. Even if Linda leaves this house and goes away tomorrow, my heart will go with her. I cannot go back. I can't start everything that I've done to put these things together, to put this family together and then I'll let it fall and go back. I cannot go back to it. You have to control your emotions. I understand how you feel. Please take it easy on yourself. I know that by the grace of Almighty God, God Almighty can still reverse the situation. So take it easy on yourself. I wish. I wish. I truly wish God can reverse the whole thing. Honestly, I wish you can go deep into the spiritual path and find out the extent of the love that I have for this woman. I'm so sorry about the whole thing. But, you know, my visit is sudden now. And I need to go back to the convent as soon as possible. But I promise, unfailingly, Tomorrow I will be here. I will be here to purposely talk to her. And I know that by the grace of our mother, Mary, the mother of all women and the church, her heart will surrender. Please take it easy on yourself. Pray. That is the best thing that can ever happen. I pray. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. The most annoying part was witnessing my daughter always trying to talk to her mother there's nothing she didn't do it was so painful seeing a child try to talk to her mother instead of the opposite most times she wants to hit her I guess my daughter didn't want to tell me I know she hits her she's totally ignored her daughter. It was as if she was 
You know? I couldn't tell. Will you lie down there? Please, I lost your eye. Oh. not the bag. Wait. Nobody the bag with this boss. Are you serious? I'm serious. This is not the bag. Come, this man, this is with they here. They jump for here. Yeah? No. This is how they jump for here. Yeah? Where is that money? Please, that is the only money in the house. I swear to God Almighty. Please, that is the only cash I have in my house. Now, but I can say add more. Point. I can add more. Please. I can have more to reach. Okay. Please, please just, please, just, just give, me. give me my phone and let me call for money and they bring money here for you. Ah, I'm quiet. They have been here to talk with No, they'll bring money for you. I give you your phone so that it's not the police for us, Abby. No, 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 I will, I will not call any police. They will bring the money. I'll call the bank, they'll bring money here. They never bring money for me. I want to ask you a question. Hmm? Please ask. Did you love your wife? I love my wife. I love my wife. I love my daughter. You love your daughter. I love my daughter so much. Just tell me where that money is. I swear to God, I swear to my mother's grave. There's no more cash in the house, but I promise you, one phone call, they'll bring money here. Please just give me my phone. Just give me my phone. There's no money. I don't want cash. Guys, let them kill us, please. Only only. that this star was dipped inside an alkalis that contains sodium hydroxide. And the chemical in question is a very dangerous one when it comes in contact with the eyes. I, but I can move my eyeballs. The only problem I'm having is that I cannot see. Why can't I, why can't, can't, I, can't I get like some drops? Some eye drop that probably that will clear my eye. Sir, the blindness caused by the sodium hydroxide does not go easily. It takes time. I am not blind. I am not blind. I'm only feeling itches, but I can blink. Look at my eyes. Can you see me? I am not blind, but I cannot see. Sir, the sight for seeing is damaged. It's damaged, but it can be fixed. Oh, yeah, sure. Just I'll... give us time. We'll fix everything by God's grace. Please, please. Doctor, you need to really take care of this. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't go blind. I can't. So, I'm sorry about that. These robbers are very heartless. Indeed, but you see, Doctor, please. See, okay, fine. I heard what you said, okay? You, 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 when you get back, you, you, you assemble your team of um, professional psychology. Uh, uh, um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, uh, Daniel? Um, what are they called? Uh, surgeons. Surgeons to do something. Maybe any surgery procedures. Whatever. We'll look into that. Thank God. Doctor, um, I heard what you said, okay? And I believe that 
when you get back with your team of professionals. Look into my case. I can move my eye, I can blink. The only thing is that I cannot see. Yes. That's the part that's affected. The part for sight is damaged. There must be something, some kind of eye drop that can clear my eyes. Yes, yes. Sir, please, you don't need to rush into treatment now. We'll take our time. Please, please, just do something. Do something, please. Yes, Doctor, please. Pico. Don't worry. You'll see what to do. Just take it care of him for now. Hi. The mad dog. I'm expecting to hear from you. No problem, sir. Tomorrow, when you after you might have met them, you know, after your meeting with your team of doctors, you know, doctors no problem, get all the surgeons involved. Something I know I cannot go there. I will do that. I'll talk to you, doctor. Uh, she said that something can be done actually and that um, he will get back to us. Daniel, to us. go to my room, get me my bag. There's a particular complimentary car there and he's my friend and that is a PhD holder as a surgeon. I cannot go Yes. Yes. Let us try another doctor. That was how I lost my sight. After all the ill treatment, and my wife melted on me. And my daughter. The grievous one is, each time I, I think of the circumstances that surround their death. How do we are only more than in my presence? Ever since then, my life has never been the same. So it touches me. Each time I try to talk to you or touch you, you always throw my hands away. Whenever I try to hold you, you won't let me hold you. I'm thinking, I can't help but to think. I don't want the same thing to happen to me again. Rebecca, you give me your heart, you give me your words. You promise that you're going to take care of me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. I won't do anything. Everything I have belongs to you. Don't hold me, please. <laughs> Electrician. Electrician? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes, come the, on. Where is he? Why are you speaking up for him? Why is he not saying anything? He's deaf and dumb. He's what? Deaf and dumb. Why would they send a deaf and dumb person to come and repair something in my house? Um, actually. He's the best in town. He was recommended to me by a lot of people. So he's very good at his job and that's why I brought him. Oh, honey, come on. How do you communicate to somebody who can barely hear, not speak? <laughs> it's a 
do whatever you're doing and go. Woo, 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 woo. How are you communicating with him? Um, well, he just knows exactly what to do. Uh, it's fine, baby. Let me just take him inside. I'll be okay. You just, just you stay here. I'll be, I'll be fine. Make sure he does the right thing. When he cannot talk, or he cannot speak. He can even make things worse. However, just, just put your eyes on him. Rebecca, the ever take life easy, one nemo slow and steady, one nemo maka. Ever one nem, Rebecca, oh. I am a new one If I am better than Eloa, over this year, if I am better than Eloa, What is it? Why are you crying? <sighs> Come on, talk to me. And uh, look, you're you're crying. Just tell me what the problem is and why are you holding this? Do you know her? Yes. I know her. Well, she's Leeds and she's my husband's first wife. So they eventually got married. I mean, Pius was her husband? Yes. Is there a problem? This world is so wicked. What a world. This world is not balanced. So, can money buy love? Look, you're really confusing me. What's the problem? Just open up to me. She's my ex. Fiance. Your ex? What do you mean by your ex? Yes. This was all that happened. I really love you. 
thank you sincerely i i can't wait for you to be my wife and bear children for me honestly same with me i can't wait to sleep every night and wake up seeing you by my side you're the best thing that has, that has ever happened to me you're my very best See, you're the perfect one. I thank the gods for bringing you my way. And for that sake, I will never disappoint you or betray you. I'm willing to spend the rest of my life with you. I know. And I will never betray you for anything. I will, I will be here for you anytime, any day. I love you forever. I thought I had, I've got a sincere woman in my life. After a while, she was very ill. I was admitted to a hospital. What is all this? you now. All hope is almost gone. I don't know what to do. My daughter is dying. She is suffering. She's dying gradually. I've even gone to the doctor to donate my kidney. The doctor said I am hypertensive. As such, I can be a donor. Say, please, this is the time for you to prove to me that you really love my daughter. Can you donate your kidney? Oh, no, no, gum. My only hope, the only one I have, she's going through pains, she's dying gradually. Can you please donate your kidney? For her to live again. I don't want her to die. Nancy, please help me. You are my only hope now. Before my very eyes. Rebecca, I have to donate my kidney. I have to do all this to keep her alive. I did it, yes. Just for Linda to stay alive. Hey, I'm go. I'm 
God you came back and acted well. May the gods be praised. Sir. Nelson, yes. you were God sent. Hey. Thank you. Hey. Welcome, Welcome, bro. Sorry. Sorry. Hey. Hey. How could you? Hey, people should come inside. No, come no, inside. no. Let her go. Eh? Hey. You can go. Let me go and take care of myself. No, eh? no, no. Come inside. Come inside. Uh, eh? uh, Mazen. Uh, you can go inside, yeah? <laughs> we don't need to thank the gods. You're my god sent. If not for you, I won't still be alive today. You gave half of your life for me to live. This is to say that you live in me and nothing shall ever come in between two of us. It's okay. I love you forever. I love you too. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Um, you can go inside, okay? <laughs> uh, I'll have some drugs to take. You said you are not coming in. No, no, Mazi. I have some other drugs in the house. Hey. I'm going to start taking those ones. Yes, in my son. the wounds. Listen, yeah. my son, I, um, I'm waiting for you <laughs> to come and take her home. Take Thank her you. to your house as your wife. Thank you, Mazi. So that I will give you my blessing and bless your marriage. Yes. For this we have done. May the gods be praised. Thank you, Father. You say, oh, God bless you. Yeah. All right, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> come inside. Come inside. Hey. <laughs> Mm. Go. Mm. Hey. God bless you. May the God bless you. I'm waiting for you. Eh? She will be your wife. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Let her not drink water. Oh, okay. okay. That's what the doctor said. Oh, oh, oh. I'll wait for you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Hey, take care of yourself. Bro. When I thought all was going on well, her father came threatening me to stay away from her daughter. All because there was a rich man by the corner waiting to lavish money on them and have her as his wife. The father even told me to my face that I'm a low life, that I don't deserve her daughter. That I can't make it in the future. That I have no future. The father humiliated me. <clears throat> um, I invited you here to show you appreciation for what you have done for me and my daughter. You've done so very well. Also to tell you that my daughter will soon be getting married to a millionaire. And having told the millionaire what you did for my daughter, he have decided to compensate you with the sum of three million naira. And I will advise you to take that three million naira Go and do something better for your life with it. Hmm? And I hope you will accept that offer and stay away from my <coughs> family so you don't spoil things for me. <laughs> Three million naira. <laughs> Mazeko. Will money or can money buy love? Mazukongo. Three million naira. Can it support the life of your daughter? After all I did for you. I almost lost my life for your daughter. I can vividly remember when you came kneeling down to save her life. That rich man was not available then. Mazukongo, you doing this to me. Selling my proposed wife for money. To hell with your three million naira. I now can see blood 
that you are senseless. You are a senseless human being. And that is why you are seen like this. Look at you. You came here and be telling me about love. Stupid love. Senseless love. Now, I see that this is what has blinded your sense of reasoning. That you no longer reason with your brain. You reason the other way around. Oh yeah, leave my house. Leave my house. I, I will me none. Leave my house. I now see. You don't have to use three million to sell, to sell my wife away. She is my yeah. wife. Which wife? Who gave it to you? Who gave it to you? My wife. Look at him. Where is to be born? Have you ever felt that hundred hundred thousand in your life? Somebody start paying you millions for nothing. Not even one. One, two, three. Have you made one million in your life? Somebody's giving you three million. You are telling me love. Love will kill you that. Hi. Hey. You want to put Sasa in my garden? No, it will not work for you. Look at this fool. And the gala in a wampo. Let me see your legs near this compound again. And near my daughter. If I did not cut it for you, call me a bastard. Hi! Oh man, Lele. Hey, do you, hey, do you? No, I love it. Same here. My shit, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay? Thank you so much. How many times have I warned you to stop pressuring my daughter? Eh? How many times have I told you to leave her alone? Let her be! She's no longer in your class. You, 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 you cannot marry my daughter. You are not man enough to marry my daughter. What's your conco? Eh? What is it? Why are you sounding like this? What do, did I in any way do you wrong? You can't move. Eh? I, 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 we are both families now, one big family. And you know the role I played in making sure she, she, she gets back to her feet. My friend, that was then. That was then. Don't, see, let me tell you. Don't come now and put Sansan inside my garden. Now that God wants to better my life, you want to come and start robbing me with this year poverty. See, let me warn you. Let this be the first and last. I will see you near my, my, my daughter. I've, 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 I've made you an offer. That will cover whatever you think you have done for my daughter. What's the conqueror? It's me. And then, and then. Hey. The offer I made you will cover whatever you thought you have done for my daughter. And then, and then, and then, I don't know what to, what to do. You, you want to let me continue in poverty? God forbid. God forbid. Please, let me warn you. For the last time, those I did not warn you. If I ever see you near my daughter again. Hmm. Okay, let I'll go and meet that one in the house. Oh no. Hi! Oh wow. I couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe it. Don't ill like confronted her. Linda, she, she said it to my face that she wants to marry the man because he is rich. Linda said I can't take care of her needs, that she's left with no choice but to marry a man with money. She left a true love. It was strange. Yes. Tell me it's not true. It is all true. 
I am sorry. Please forgive me. I am sorry for betraying you. I tried all I could, but all to no avail. My father even threatened that if I, if I don't marry Pius, I should get ready to bury him. I don't want my father to die. Please, I'm sorry. Didn't you tell him that you have another man, a fiancé that is ready to marry you? I did. I did. But he wouldn't listen. Hi. All he wants is to get married to me without knowing the kind of person I am. He didn't even know what I want and what I don't want. Please forgive me. I am sorry. Okay, do you know that he is even the one bribing my father with his money? Please, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to do. Men are so wicked. They are so mean. They can kill their fellow men because they have money. I swear. I swear in my next life I will deal with them. Even if I don't have the opportunity in this my life, I will deal with men. I swear. I am sorry. Okay. If, if the gods permit us to get married, I will be the happiest person on earth. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I still love you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Think about my life. What have I done to myself? <laughs> what have I done to myself? What have I done to myself? What should I do now? It's so strange to me. After that, I was having a thought of committing suicide. I thought this life was useless. I, I learned how to stay alone. I became a lunar. Sister, who consoled me, who made me realize that I'm still a living being. She made me understand that trusting someone is very risky, especially what I did. She consoled me. She was the reason I am still alive. Yes. Brother, you have to stop crying. You have to stop crying. I mean, you're not helping yourself. Things will be fine again, I know. And I know that God is going to give you someone who will love and cherish you. Someone who will not deviate from the order she must have taken with you. You just have to stop crying. It hurts me too. Please. Brother, please, stop crying. You and I know that women can easily be deceived by material things. 
It's okay. You have to stop crying, please. Stop it. It hurts me to see you this way. Please. Where's you go? It's okay. This was how I was betrayed. After all I did. After all I went through to keep her alive. After I have donated my kidney that no man would have done for her. She paid me evil for the good I did for her. This is painful. This is, this is so sad. Rebecca, I loved her. I loved her. It's fine. Please don't cry. Just look at me. I'm here. I'm here now. And you know I love you so much. Look, I promise to fill up every empty space in your heart.
Please bury me. Just bury me. You have killed me. Bury me. No, 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 please. No. He just appeared. Who? I, I, I mean, where? Where, where, where? Oh. He, he also appeared to me. Huh? Yes, 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 he did. No. Where did he come? No. Yes! What is going on? What is going on? So, what did you say is actually the cause of his appearance? Pastor, I don't know. In fact, it was even because of your wonderful sermon today. As you can see, many of them are still, they're still making that, I mean, they are yet to get out of that uh, shock. You really touched everybody's life, and that is why we came to see you. If you ask us, we don't know. You know, you, speak, you spoke against spirituality and witchcraft. Because of that knowledge of God in you, we decided to come and see you. We don't know, Pastor, we don't know. Do you see him as a spirit or as a human being? A witch. Like a full witch, a spirit witch, and a very wicked one. Pastor. A mean one. Uh -huh. Mean, heartless. This is becoming unbelievable. What does he want from you? Oh. Hey. Pastor Ujuba, I don't know. Do I know? See, do you know how this occultist, all these ritualists behave? Very mean. All they're after is backwardness. Because of the happiness they have seen in us. Right? So you should have known now. Even the Bible says that the Spirit of God searches deep things. Search your spirit. Let, let God reveal things to you now and then rescue us from this from this trauma. Yeah. Let the Spirit of God tell you what to do now. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this problem is. It's getting tired. Mm -hmm. I do know. I do know. I, I, I know. But um, what's your relationship with him? Well, Pastor, actually... Um, um, I actually, the truth be told, hmm? I was a servant, loyalist, honest. And she was a, his maid. Eh? Until death, death came. May his blessed soul rest in perfect peace. Eh? And before then, we were getting along gradually, gradually. Till, till, till after his death. Then, suddenly, it happened and we got married. She's my wife now. Eh? Because of our happiness and progress, this spirit just came from nowhere and is trying to attack us. What kind of rubbish is this? Eh? You know that eh? You know. Death is not your portion. Eh? I pray peace in your family. Amen. Happiness will continue to exist in your family. Amen. None of your family members will experience death in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Pastor, do something. In fact, you know what? Immediately hmm? after here, hmm. I think we should go to your house so that I will pray for you in your house. Glory be to God. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you very much. That's what let's pray. Let's pray. Okay. Father in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, King of Glory. Whew. The battle is finally over. Oh! It is. Ah! Thank God for that man of God, though. I tell you. See, yeah, that man of God has so much anointing in him. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people go after him. Mm. Ah! We're, we're, we're so grateful that he was able to pray and, and stop that nonsense, mm -hmm. blind spirit. Nonsense. You know, if we were even going to bury him, where are we going to start from? Oh. <laughs> you see why I told you to give that man a gold? Two million naira extra. Because the money would have used to bury that blind man would have been times ten what you gave the man of God. It's true. You're right. Honestly speaking, you're very correct. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That, that stupid blind man was, was almost messing us up. Ah. Let him go and tell his forefathers to bury him. <laughs> not us. Nonsense. It's over anyways. <laughs> but you... You can fabricate lies, eh? Which lie? Yeah, which lie? The one you said, oh, I was his servant, and then I his maid, and then we both got married, <laughs> and then blah, 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 blah. Will you keep quiet? <laughs> Look, don't you think common sense is not common? Mm. Eh? If I hadn't lied like that, eh, the man of God wouldn't have 
ginger to, enough to come and pray for us. Mm. Can't you see he came and prayed? Mm. <laughs> come on, says he's not come on. <laughs> but you know, if that man of God was truly a man of God or really powerful, mm. he would have seen you through your lives. Ah, but maybe the spirit was on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> So it was really not in the spirit, but you would have seen it. <laughs> so we're smart anyway. Smarter than the spirit anyway, so we don't know. Kind of anointing presence in the house now, it's not even supposed to come close to your street, let alone your house. That is just a problem, Pastor. Eh? With all the anointing prayer that you pray, almost shook our foundation of the house. Uh, yes, this man still appeared, this priest still appeared brutally. Yes, isn't it true? And the worst part is, he's always appearing at the wrong time, at night. So can you imagine? Yes, the is, is, is he? The and the living do not have anything. Come on. Just the same way light and darkness do not have anything in common. Yes, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Pastor, we've read those things in the Bible. Please do something. Do something. Yes. after you. As I speak to you now, his spirit is buried. He has no power over you and your household. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, I don't know. 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 Thank you. Take this to your household. Say your mind and you will be free forever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, can I... You may not go. Yeah. 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 I'm 
It is now finished. The yoke has been separated. You are now a free man. No spirit shall know you again, and you shall not know any. <laughs> Take this. You are now as plain as the river. The garment you put on, the egg broken on you, and this. I won't go to nobody. I will go to nobody. Hey! I brought back on your land. When you go home, pour this to all corners of your house and speak your wishes. And after that, go and sleep like a newborn baby onwards. <laughs> you may go and go in peace. Hmm. Nyamani! Sorry, please, please, sir. Oh, okay. Please, I'm sorry. Please, uh, please, 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 I gave you everything as a brother. I changed your life. Why? Why, Nelson? How did I offend you? Sprinkling it all of a sudden, he just came and even slapped me. I'm, I'm, I'm scared if my joy had shifted. Please, I don't know, I don't understand all this kind of thing. I saw the minute if I had to pay that in the moment, he did that. Why did you see me? I don't know. He wouldn't want to run. You are now. What is it? You are not going to be here. What is it? You are not going to be here. 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 I am a solid baby. No one challenges me. I did not start this work with you. Do you know me? I don't know you. Go back there and sprinkle it the more. Mbao. Mbao. Except you go with me. Oh. I'm not going anywhere again. Where are the evils? I shall go with you. This time. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, I said you didn't know. Don't go and attack and wanya. 
You're good. Oh, not really. Watch my in law, hope he's in. I've not seen I've not seen him. What of my niece? I've not seen any of them since I came back. Oh, what's going on? Is everything okay? Well, I I can't really tell. I don't know. I don't know. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you, Rebecca? Where have you been? I mean, where is my brother Pius? No, we killed him. What? <laughs> Wait. Yes, 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 yes. We, we killed him and we threw his body away. But oh. now he is after us. His spirit is after us if we don't bury him. <laughs> What? 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 You, 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 you said you killed my brother Paris? After everything that has been of you? <laughs> Rebecca, are you with your right senses or are you talking under the influence of alcohol? You guys, no, tell me. I'm talking to you right now. He might come to kill us. Please, let's go and show you where he's dead is. Please, 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 we don't want trouble. Please, we don't want to die. Please. Where is the body? I can't tell now. Where is it? Say something! That is my brother's body! Say something now. You, you know you were where when you, you witnessed you, 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 where the body was. Hey, but what happened to the body now? Oh, Nelson, look for it. But, where is it? Where, 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 where on earth will I this is where it was? Where will I find it? So where is the dead body? I, I dropped it here now. This is where we dropped it. Nelson, what, what are you saying? What are you saying? It's my brother's body! <laughs> Rebecca, yeah, maybe, see, maybe the community people have taken it because it should be decaying by now. How, how, how do you? How do you mean? Ah! Nothing! 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 Look! 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 He's here! He's here! He's here! He's here. Ah! 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 Oh, what? <laughs>
Thank you. 